Hi, in this particular video we're going to be looking at expanding and simplifying this, which is just a little bit more complicated than the kind of questions that you might be used to. It's probably round about um, level 4, maybe level 5 at GCSE in the UK, but basically we treat it in exactly the same way. Um, the first thing is we're going to multiply these two brackets together and we're going to leave the x bit of it until the very end. So what I've got is x plus 3 times x plus 9. Okay, well let's just for a moment imagine that I don't have this plus 3 here. I'm going to multiply through by the x on its own. So I've got x times x is x squared and then I've got plus 9x and that'll be pretty much the way that um, most of the other videos in the playlist are going to be addressed. So you'll see that I do it exactly the same way each time in that now I'm going to put in the plus 3 and I'm going to multiply through by the plus 3. I haven't forgotten about this x and please be very careful that you don't forget about it. It might be useful and I've seen this a few times to put the bit that you're multiplying into some square brackets and that might help just a little bit to make sure you remember this x. Okay, so the final bit is I'm going to multiply through by this. I've got plus 3x and I've got plus 3 times plus 9 is plus 27 and all of that is inside these square brackets which is then multiplied by x on the outside. Okay, so I now need to really just tidy this up. So let's just have a look at the brackets inside again, and this time I'm going to change it to curly brackets, but I've got x squared, which is a term on its own, and then I need to gather up the plus 9x and the plus 3x. Well, 9 plus 3 is going to be um, 12x, and then I've got plus 27 at the end there. Okay, so that deals really with the x plus 3 times x plus 9 and then it's really just a matter of multiplying each of these terms by x from the outside. Okay, so I'm going to multiply x times x squared, well that's going to be x cubed. Uh, just be very careful that x times x squared is the same as saying x times x times x, which is x cubed. Okay, it's not x plus x plus x, which is 3x. So just be very careful about the differences between the two. Okay, so I've got x times x squared is x cubed. And then I've got x times plus 12x. Well, that's going to be plus 12x squared. Okay, because I've got two lots of x there. Not two lots of x, I've got x times x, which is x squared. And then finally, I've got x times plus 27 is going to be plus 27x. And that would answer this particular question. So it does take a little bit of thinking through. It might be useful to introduce these square brackets. Just make sure that you keep everything together. Um, and also, don't forget that you've got these two principles in place here to make sure that you are multiplying. So it's x cubed or x squared, not 3x or 2x. Okay, I hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below in the comments. I'll always come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.